Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn JSP with Mahesh. In our interview question series, the question today we are going to discuss is why layer 7 load balancer is called the smartest load balancer? Can you quickly demonstrate it? Now, off late I have seen interviewers expecting uh, you to know uh, little about doing a demonstration also or either via a console or verbally explaining this is the steps which you are going to do. So, let me share my experience how I was able to handle this question. Before we look into the details, a quick shout out. I'm starting my uh, batch 8 starting from 9th of January the next year. So it's a customized professional cloud architect training where it's going to have a minimum duration of 150 hours to 180 hours. So I'm going to be the instructor. So we are going to focus more on hands on experience stuff. So basically learning for the exam and also doing uh, getting real time experience. It's going to span around four to five months. Um, uh, if you are interested uh, in this training, want to know more details, drop me an email at learnjspwithmahesh at the rate gmail.com. And if you are interested in basic looking at uh, some of the testimonials, what people talk, uh, so you can basically look into this website, my website, learnjspwithmahesh.com. You should know some, some of the testimonials, what people talk about it, the training. So let me show the approach which I took. So the approach which I wanted to show uh, the smartness of layer 7 was the proximity option. So if any request comes, uh, say for example, from Asia part, it has to be served from a back end which is in uh, Asia. Say for example, if I have a back end provision in Mumbai, uh, if any request comes from any part of Asia, it should basically send the request to Mumbai. Similarly, if I have, uh, uh, back-end uh, service in London, any part of Europe, when it comes, it has to basically uh, send the traffic to Europe. So this is the approach which I wanted to take. So for this, uh, this basically is called as proximity. So this is one of the smartness. The layer 7 can do this automatically for us. You don't need to do anything extra. So if you provision those EN number of uh, back-end, it is going to do that. So I thought I'll do this. And uh, basically to answer this question, the trainings which I do was a uh, little helpful for me to show this part and I wanted to crack this because it was a good company a short contract period so I thought okay let me try to really impress the interviewer so the approach which I took was little different where the question was more towards load balancer but I wanted to show an approach where I don't create a VPC itself nothing no VPC no firewall rules because if there's no fire VPC there's no firewall rules no routes empty and if you look into the external IP address also nothing is there. So this is something which I purposely showed it to the uh, interviewer. Then I took the approach of using cloud run. Why? Because I could have shown this concept of proximity using a uh, managed instance group, using Kubernetes, uh, where I use uh, ingress, all those things. But those things are going to take a little longer time because the time was very short. I want to quickly impress the uh, interviewer. So there is one openly available image uh, in uh, gcr.io google samples zone printer so because of regular trainings uh, i was able to remember this image exists so what i used is i used this image i created three uh, services cloud run services uh, one in mumbai one in london one in us central and i wanted to show that if the request comes from basically uh, any part of US, it is going to hit the US uh, cloud run service. Similarly, any part of uh, Europe, it's going to hit London. So that is what I wanted to show because creating a cloud run service is very easy. So I went with this approach. So let me just do this live. So this is the image and the version is 0.2. So this is the image which I'm going to use. I'm going to create three services. So for simplicity reason, I'm going to do it in the UI itself, folks. I'll call the service as zone printer hyphen US and it is going to be in US central. And because this is a, uh, uh, this is an application which is going to be accessible uh, via the internet open to everybody. I'm going to allow open authentication, uh, sorry, allow unauthenticated invocation. So create it. So this is going to take a couple of minutes for it to do it. By the time this comes up, I'm going to basically create a couple of more, one in London, one in Mumbai. So do this. So change this to uh, 
So I'll create one in uh, Mumbai. So I should call this as uh, Asia. So the same stuff. Allow unauthenticated invocation created. So again, this is going to take few, uh, not more. It's going to take a couple of minutes only. So US is already created. So let me create the same thing for uh, London. So I'm going to call this as European Union and I'll put it in uh, London. So hopefully I can get quickly the London region. Yes. Uh, next allow unauthenticated invocation created. Now, in the next few minutes, I should have all the three stuffs uh, running. Now, let me just show you how it looks uh, if I directly access US. So if I click on US, basically I get a uh, end point. So if I click on this, it is going to know, it is going to show this. This was the impressive feature which I wanted to show. It shows with a flag all those things. Now everybody can confirm, yes, it is served from so-and-so region. So similarly, uh, if I do it for India, it's going to show the Indian flag. So directly hitting, it's going to show the Indian flag. Awesome. So similarly, just to show you uh, with the European Union, so it's going to show a London flag. Very nicely written. This is a code written in Go language, so you can look into the source code also. I'll put that in the description. So awesome. This is all good. So now I can use this perfectly for load balancing. Now all I need to do is I create a load balancer, but I'm going to leverage serverless network endpoint group concept. A little new concept, but it was something easy for me to show it. So this is one. Now and we have created cloud run without any VPC folks because this is totally serverless. Now that we have our backend services, so it's just a matter of creating a layer seven load balancer and demonstrate the proximity, the, the proximity concept, which is one of the smartest feature which you can get because it is at a layer seven, the application layer in our OSI model. So for that, again, I wanted to highlight, I'm not having basically any VPC. So just wanted to highlight it again. So if I go to my load balancing, I'm going to create a layer seven load balancer. So let's wait for the screen to come up. So click on load balancer layer seven. The other type of load balancer which we have in GCP is layer four. So let me create layer seven load balancer. This is something new preview I'm not going to use. I'm going to use a classic HTTPS load balancer. So <clears throat> I'll push this. I'll call this as interview LB create three backend services and I'll call this as backend serverless. Uh, so we are not going to use instance group rather than that we are going to use serverless network endpoint group serverless neg basically. So if I go I can create three serverless next. So I'm going to call this as uh, Asia. So the one which I created was in uh, Mumbai and if I click on cloud run I should see cloud run uh, the zone, zone printer Asia service done. So quick right. If it was managed instance group, I have to create an instance template, uh, image an instance template, then create an instance group, lots of longer time. So Europe, so I'll select London. I should see European Union stuff, good. And the last one is US. Create this, type it as US and put it in US Central and our zone printer US should show up. Done. So that's it folks. This is, uh, this is the option which is going to be helpful for us to quickly create the backend stuff. And I'm going to leave all other stuffs default. So everything is going to be set as default. I'm going to click on create. The moment I click on create, I'm going to get an IPv4 address, which is a global load, uh, global IP address. So how do I verify that? I can basically go to my external IP section. So once the load balance is provisioned, you should see a 
inst uh, uh, entry here and that is going to be a global IP. So let's go ahead and click on create and usually the load balancer is going to take around seven minutes to create. That's what I have observed as an option, but you will see the IP address quickly. So I'll also show you what is the IP address and also uh, show you will have an entry here and in the initial the health checks all those things are going to take place so for that it's going to take little time so if I just wait for a minute here it's going to show a tick mark so let's wait for this I'll just pause the video for a second so that it comes up and then we can see it or let me keep it let me keep it running so that you will see something live first then for the cube um, for the load balancer to completely come up then we can test it out so let's just wait for it to show up yes so it has come up and if I look into my external IP address section I should see one IP address that is our load balancers IP address so this is our load balancer IP address under this region uh, column you see it is empty which indicates it's a global uh, IP so I can click on advanced menu I will see this IP address. It is the same IP address ending with 128, which you see it here. Now, if I click on it, it shows something like this because it is yet to do the health check, all those things. So let me pause the video for a few minutes. Once the stuff comes up, I will show I how I showed the proximity part using a tool called as tunnel bear. We had used this tunnel bear concept for understanding CDN concept in the past. So I use the same uh, tunnel bear browser uh, extension to do this part. So let me give a try if it works up, not yet. So let me just pause it. Once it comes up, we'll start the uh, recording again. All right, some few minutes has uh, finished. I feel the load balance should be up and running. So this was a screen which we stopped before uh, we pause the recording. So let me just refresh it and awesome. So it comes because I am in the Asia continent. Uh, the request is routed to Mumbai. Awesome. Now, how do I show uh, something like it is really working? So for that purpose, I'm going to use this tunnel bear option where I can basically change the location, folks. Say, for example, I can change it to Denmark. I'm in now Denmark. Now, let me refresh it and see what's going to show. It should show me London. Awesome. Now, similarly, I would change this to something like Brazil. Done. If I refresh it, it's going to show me uh, America. That's it. So I'm able to show that proximity. The closest one it's going to hit is what I was able to show. And the biggest thing which I was able to impress was no VPC. You don't need to have a VPC in this setup. And we are using layer 7 load balancer and the IP address is your global IP address. And as a finishing touch, I wanted to highlight, uh, I did this highlight to the interviewer also. So the part was going to uh, <coughs> the backend service and I was able to show a nice visualization. So if I click on this backend uh, service, it's going to show a nice visualization from which uh, part of the world the request has come that kind of a visualization. It's going to show uh, Sorry, not this piece one minute. So if I go to advanced menu uh, Backend services Okay, maybe serverless does not show that part. Okay uh, Serverless neck does not show that part is my understanding. So uh, in manage instance group it shows that capability uh, like from where to where it is basically traversing the request you will be able to see that I'm not able to see that here so that's fine so was able to demonstrate completely this concept uh, and really the interview was impressed and I was able to clear the interview so a short contract contractual role which was interesting basically so uh, the key part was uh, basically using this uh, image zone printer it came very handy so uh, the credit goes to because of continuously doing trainings I was able to explore something of this sort and the moment they told on the fly was able to think this kind of possibility can be done so and completely was uh, I would say this is completely serverless except the load balancer uh, everything was serverless option and we were able to see how nicely it works basically. So that's the video which I wanted to share. Hope the, the approach which I took, uh, you uh, got the gist of it. And 
you can use a similar approach uh, in your interviews thank you for watching